Well, right now, more than 100,000 patients are waiting for an organ donation, and thousands of them, unfortunately, will die each year waiting for that. Waiting for that transplant. Meantime, doctors at the University of Maryland Medical Center hope to change that using animal organs, which are obviously much more readily available. WMR2 News' Aaron McPherson is live right now in downtown Baltimore with a unique first of its kind surgery just completed at the University of Maryland Medical Center. Aaron, it is an incredible story. It really is remarkable. So surgeons here at the University of Maryland Medical Center were able to put a pig's heart successfully in a 57 year old man's body who was suffering from a deadly heart disease. This is something doctors here tell me that they've been working for for decades and now it has finally become a reality. Now on New Year's Eve, the US Food and Drug Administration granted emergency authorization for the surgery through its expanded access provision, which is used when a medical procedure is the only option for a patient facing a life threatening medical condition. Then just this past Friday, surgeons performed the surgery successfully. It took hours to do. Now, Dr. Bartley Griffith, one of the surgeons on this case, explained how they've gotten past the rejection phase of the animal organ and the patient is recovering well. Right now they are monitoring him and preparing for more treatment as the body works to fully accept this new heart. We know that uh, the pig heart will be attacked by different soldiers in our body. Different immune uh, players uh, can take it out and we, we have designed a treatment plan in addition to the humanized genetically edited heart to try to account for that. Now, Dr. Griffith is hopeful moving forward. He explains how the 57 year old Maryland man, David Bennett, has been through several treatments for his heart disease and didn't qualify for a heart transplant plant since his illness was so severe. So this was the best option and they really are hopeful for other patients in the future as well. So right now these doctors are just closely monitoring this patient and we will keep you updated on any progress that they have. But this truly is remarkable and they are going to be talking about this a little bit more on Good Morning America, really diving into what this breakthrough means. For now, we're live here at the University of Maryland Medical Center, Aaron McPherson, WMAR2.